How's it going, friends? Happy Christmas Eve. I'm glad you stopped by. So I hope you got a minute. Hope you're not in a hurry. So uh, jump on up here in the Matty Wagon. Let's have a talk. So I've got some good news. I dodged a bullet. I'm not going to be alone on Christmas after all. Yeah, a friend texted me and she uh, had a change of plans. And now she's in the same situation where she's got to not be able to go back and see her family. Asking if I'd ever figured out something to do. I said no. So she's having a little gathering at her house. <clears throat> to come over and eat and drink and be merry. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, so I said, yeah, so what food do I need to bring? She said, just some, maybe some desserts and lots of alcohol. So uh, so that's what we're going to do. They've got the, the food covered. It's uh, me and three women, three hot women. I know them. And they, uh, so I'm going to be in a house full of hot women on Christmas Day. So Buddy and I stopped off at the liquor store, and looks like he's already got into the rum. And uh, you think he's a trip now? You wait till he gets a little captain in him, then it's total chaos. So um, I feel feel good about that because I really didn't know what I would do Christmas Day. I had thought about um, actually taking time to recut my Reflectix for my uh, uh, privacy panels for the windows. I thought I could do that on Christmas, but I'd much rather be spending time around some friends. You know, last Christmas I did spend alone. Um, yeah, because uh, my girlfriend and I had broken up, what, early November? And you know how that went down? I don't think I ever told you this story. So, you know, I was open and honest with her about the uh, the van life thing I was going to try out. And she was skeptical, as she should be at first, but I thought she was coming around, but it all started going downhill after I actually bought the van. That's when I think she she realized, oh my God, he's serious about doing this. But I remember the first time she saw the van, um, she pulled up. I was in the back. I was putting down the uh, vinyl flooring. The rest of it was just a bare cargo van. And she walks up, she says... She didn't say congratulations or this is interesting. She she stood outside the van. She looked down and she said, there's no way you can live in this thing. Don't you know this is my home? You call my home this thing? So it all went downhill from there. So last Christmas was not good. Of course, I wasn't living in the van at Christmas. I didn't move into the van until a month after Christmas. So I still had my apartment, but being alone at Christmas, it's no fun. I mean, I've done it several times in my life. Um, after my divorce, yeah, that Christmas was rough. But, you know, if you can avoid it, um, I recommend you do. But sometimes, you know, there's just no way to avoid it, you know. So, uh, um, so if uh, that describes you, I'll be thinking about you. And, uh, hey, I've been there. It's not any fun. So I wish you well with it and have the happiest Christmas that you can make out of it. So what else is going on? Oh, I'm, I'm house-sitting again for an, a couple of days till the day after Christmas. Then they come back to town, but they're leaving again on the 30th of December for a whole month. So I'll be right back in. I mean, this has just been way more house-sitting than I ever thought I would luck into. So... uh yeah, it looks like I've got a little luck going on. Um, Christmas with a house full of hot women, and then a month of house sitting. There is a Santa Claus. So, buddy, you know, I don't know what he's going to do if, if I don't get him away from that rum. But uh, just wanted to check in with you guys, and I hope you have the best of all holidays that you've ever had. And um, just uh, wishing you well. For the new year also. So uh, we'll touch base again in a couple of days. So remember, take care, be well, smash the bell.